I'm Marnie Gellner at Lowell Park in Stillwater, who is such a fantastic host for this year's Hockey Day Minnesota. The committee did a wonderful job, and we saw three fantastic outdoor games of high school hockey. Game number one was Matamidi shutting out Thief River Falls. Sam Lapidad scored his first of the season, his first career varsity goal. Josh Campbell made 15 saves, too, and the Zephyrs won it 3 to nothing. The marquee matchup was Eden Prairie in Stillwater. Casey Middlestad scored one of his two goals on the day in the Eagles knocked off the host ponies four to one. And Chrissy Wendell joined us for the girls game here tonight. We saw some interesting conditions with the fog, but we also saw a pretty good game between Stillwater and uh, Minnetonka. We certainly did. And Abby Hagberg getting her first career goal. Must have been a day of first. She got her first career goal. First goal of the season. I'm happy for her. Never a better time to get it than on a hockey day. Olivia Knox was amazing in that. 25 saves and really the backbone and the reason that the ponies were able to get a victory. It was a two to nothing shutout. The ponies won that one and closed out our outdoor coverage here at Lowell Park. And every hockey day is so unique and has its own kind of little storyline. What stood out to you from Hockey Day 2017? You know, I, just from a selfish standpoint, I got to see my husband play in the alumni game last night. They beat the Badgers, which is always great, 7-4. And then just, the, like you said, the conditions today, the lights next to the river, just a real cool experience. I don't think we'll ever forget this one with the conditions and the rain we had in the morning and the fog that rolled in. But the ice stood up. We had no delays at all, and we saw three great games. Quite a day from Lowell Park in Stillwater. Well, here in St. Cloud, Hockey Day Minnesota had a first. As for the first time ever, Two women's college hockey teams met on Hockey Day. St. Cloud State and Minnesota State Mankato. Jim Rich along with Julie Friend, former St. Cloud State goaltender, also a goaltender on Hockey Day herself. But this one comes down to the goaltenders and a shootout. And wouldn't you know, it would be a Minnesota native to win it. A pretty exciting game, Jim. And like you said, so many Minnesotas, Minnesota natives are part of this Hockey Day Minnesota, both on Mankato and St. Cloud. Four of the seven goals today came from Minnesota natives, but none more important than Lauren Haspen Heights. Yes, she gets the winner in the shootout. St. Cloud State wins it 4-3 over Minnesota State Mankato. Six rounds of the shootout. And you could tell we did the game yesterday. There was a whole different feel here today knowing that this was a part of Hockey Day. There was just a whole different energy, like you said, Jim. And, and how can you not with Hockey Day Minnesota? It's pretty much a holiday here in Minnesota. And you could tell that these girls were really excited. And when they scored, too, those Minnesota natives just got that little <laughs> extra jump in their step. So it was a great game today and an uh, exciting day for Hockey Day Minnesota. That was a lot of fun up here today as the Huskies win over Minnesota State Mankato 4-3 in a shootout. Doug McLeod along with Ben Clymer at the Kohl Center in Madison, Wisconsin, where the Golden Gophers had a weekend split in the border battle with the Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, the loss tonight, 5-3, to three, was not a pretty picture, but Ben, it looked good to start. Well, it certainly started off on the right foot. The Gophers regrouping after what was a dramatic win for them on Friday, and then all of a sudden the cards, well, they seem to go the other direction. Wisconsin taking control in the second period, but this is how it began for the Gophers, creating turnovers, using their speed, but then all of a sudden, well, those turnovers, yep, they started happening to the Gophers, and while the Badgers are not the seventh-ranked team in the country like the Gophers are, they are not too shabby and often in rivalry duck. You can throw the numbers out the window, and that certainly, I think, was evident in the second period into the third because this Badger team, they played hungrier, they looked very, very united in the way they played a yeah. hockey, not like they had a new coach, and that was the difference. That final 40 minutes, epic if you're a Badger fan. And they certainly owned it here tonight. So an overtime win on Friday, but Saturday night went to a big Wisconsin victory, and it was not close. So the border battle round one is a split. They'll play again in just weeks in Minneapolis, and that's the story from the Kohl Center in Madison.